So we finished manufacturing our whole arm uh, assembly with our grabber on the end. So the whole thing is assembled pretty much just as before from our last update video. Uh, we have made a few tweaks. So we did remove one of the 775 Pros. Um, we, we had a limited number and we needed it elsewhere, but we determined that it worked uh, just fine um, with the uh, 1775 Pro. We did move the gearbox up to a 50 to one reduction. Uh, we had a five to one there before. Um, it still shoots out plenty quickly um, and gives us plenty of speed for our cycle times uh, that we're shooting for. So, uh, And then we just mounted an idler wheel on the other side that just free spins on bearings. Um, just to keep the this rod centered um, is really the only reason. Um, we also, as mentioned, as, like we said that we were going to add before, we added our uh, third support down here that also acts as our stop. Um, so now our pole rod is pretty, um, pretty well situated on our bar. Um, and supported pretty well. We also finished our, our whole grabber mechanism for the cubes and the cones. So that is assembled uh, with just a weld on the steel plate or this aluminum plate on the back. Um, so it's just welded to the end of this bar. Um, and then it consists of the two pneumatic pistons as you saw before. Um, we did kind of completely change our grabber design. Um, as engineering is, uh, it's you know sometimes trial and error and uh, the plastic design um, just from testing broke immediately. So, <laughs> so we uh, kind of kept the same geometry of it before um, and manufactured out of uh, just two plates of eighth inch thick aluminum. Um, and then we just bolted that or we spaced it out with uh, pieces of churro here that we threaded and just tapped quarter 20 screws into. Um, so the whole thing can uh, slide out, uh, gives us our spacing for our cube. And then we uh, can suck in far enough to pick up the cones. For the cones, we've mounted, we've cut off tread or a piece of the wheel from a green uh, compliant wheel. Um, and we, those are mounted um, on these churros on uh, bearings. That way when we pick up the cone, um, it'll self right itself so that the bottom is always facing down. So we can, we can pick up the cone, our cone will always be facing down. And when we extend out our arm, no matter what angle we're at, we can drop the cone and it's gonna fall straight down. Um, so our next steps is we're gonna get this mounted. Um, and I think we're looking pretty good. It's pretty late here. Uh, so I think we're gonna get some rest and then uh, get back to this soon. Um, so hopefully in the morning, uh, we'll have an update to you with this mounted, um, as well as a few other things with our pneumatics that we we'll wanna show you. So we're looking forward to that.